So, steam engines. They're these massive machines that powered the world through the Industrial Revolution. But how exactly do they work? How do they take simple boiling water and turn that into power? Well, today, with the help of this LEGO model, I'm going to explain how steam engines work. Now, this may come as a surprise to some people, but a steam engine has a lot of the same parts that you'd find in a regular internal combustion engine, say for example the one in your car or truck. These parts include the cylinders, pistons, crankshaft, connecting rod, flywheel, and even valves. However, the valves in this engine look a little bit different than the valves of a steam engine. So this is a valve from an engine like the one we just saw, and this is the valve from a steam engine model. As you can see, they look quite different from one another, but they do the same thing. They control when and where the air moves within the engine. Alright, now let's get on with how these things actually work. So first, steam enters in through here, where it comes in contact with the valve. Currently, the valve is not letting the steam go anywhere. So as I turn the flywheel here, you can see that the valve opens up this front port. This lets the steam flow through into the cylinder in front of the piston. Now because the steam is under extremely high pressure, that steam is going to want to push the piston back. As the piston gets to the very back of the cylinder, the valve blocks the port, keeping the steam from entering the cylinder, and it opens up the back port. This back port allows steam to flow in to behind the piston and push it forward. Then once the piston gets to the very top of the cylinder, the valve closes the back port, opens the front one, and everything starts over. Now you're probably wondering what this little device here is, and that's a good question. This device is what's known as a speed governor. What this device does is it keeps the engine running at a safe RPM. As the engine is running, the governor spins around. When the engine speeds up, these weights will fly out. When they fly out, they lift up on the small platform here, which is connected to a valve on the steam input. As the engine speeds up, the valve will slowly close, cutting off more and more steam, which will slow the engine down. Once the engine slows down enough, the weights will fall back in and the valve will slowly open, letting in more steam. As the steam gets let in, the engine will naturally speed up. So the governor is constantly going in and out, in and out, in and out regulating the speed of the engine. Now one thing that I find really cool is that LEGO vacuum engines operate on the exact same principles as a steam engine, except the airflow direction is just reversed. Which means that technically, LEGO vacuum engines could run off steam, and steam engines can run off a vacuum. Which also means that this one can run off a vacuum. Well, I hope you learned something today. If you did, be sure to give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss what I have coming out next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.